you call the admiral an accidental dating and relationship coach. I see so much of um, life advice being dating advice. The truth is dating is war. <laughs> Thanks again for joining us on Second Act TV. I want to welcome back Trevor Brandon Scharf, the author of Done Being Single. My point, no, I was pointing the wrong way. <laughs> and the host of Done Being Single with Robbie and Trevor. As always, Trevor, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Silka. I am your sister from another mister. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we have an interesting, I think, conversation today. One of your articles, you actually wrote this a few years ago, I believe. And for some reason, I just stumbled across it. And I thought, what a great conversation this would make. If you're familiar with this commencement speech that he, it was a SEAL, Navy SEAL Admiral William H. McRaven gave an absolutely incredible commencement speech of if you want to change the world. And you might have seen it. It has, I mean, gazillions of millions and millions of views. I'll, I'm going to link to it. So, so, you know, if you haven't, if you're unfamiliar with it, they can, you can watch it. But you, clever as you are, <laughs> you call the Admiral an accidental dating and relationship coach. <laughs> What, yeah, tell me what, yeah. I'll throw it over to you. How, how did you come up with that? <laughs> oh, because I see so much of um, life advice being dating advice. Mm -hmm. And I just, I loved his commencement speech. And, you know, the, the truth is dating is war. <laughs> yeah, it's I, the analogies here. I think are terrific. Uh, let, let's just go ahead and go through the ten to, through the ten things. Uh, number one, he says, if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. And what he means by that is, if you can't do the little things right, you will never do the big things right. And you start off that love, love requires that you work on you yes. first. Talk to yes. me about that. Okay, so. I sort of have two mantras, and that is the first one is if you want to attract people, you've got to work on becoming attractive, mm -hmm. okay? So if you want to attract people, you have to work on being attractive, period, full stop. Mm -hmm. The better you become as a person, the better you will attract. Yeah. So yes, it starts with you first. So number two here, if you want to change the world, find someone to help you paddle. That you can change the world alone is what he says. You will need some help. And uh, you, well, you talk about the support system that yes. uh, you need in finding love. Oh, yeah. There is no shame. There is no mm -hmm. shame in getting help, asking for help, saying, help me, um, getting direction, getting support. It's actually a sign of strength. And even even tuning into this show is a form of help. Mm -hmm. I know. Absolutely. I mean, I know we're we are extremely entertaining. No. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like help because it's so funny and witty. Uh, <laughs> but the truth is, there's some real pearls of wisdom in here. We this is this is you know good stuff. And this if if you only people tune into me and, and Silka into second act TV and you don't read another book or you don't, you know, follow another dating someone, you'll get a lot of great information here. And yes, <laughs> we are your support system. Uh, I love that. Well, yeah, I mean, we certainly try to be, and we, and we try to be honest about it and bring our own, you know, uh, experiences to the table. So hopefully yes, that yes, is a little helpful. Yes, yes, yes. I love number three here. Um, if you want to change the world, a measure a person by the size of their heart and not their flippers. That SEAL training was a great equalizer is what he says, that nothing mattered but your will to succeed. This is the dating, you know, 101 is yeah. <clears throat> don't compare. Mm -hmm. uh, don't don't look at other people's lives. And definitely don't look at other people's flippers and wonder how big they are. <laughs> And, and some of us will have bigger flippers, okay? Um, I say that figuratively, you know, some of us will be more um, successful or better looking or younger or taller or, you know, and we all know that social media is a big, you know, fake show, shit show, you know, and right. we think that, oh no, I don't have what they have. 
how am I going to compete? Not yeah. true. Not. Yeah, no, exactly. The next one here, uh, get over being a sugar cookie <laughs> and keep moving forward. This refers to a drill they did in, uh, in training where in uniform, they made them get wet, roll in the sand, and then stay in that for like eight hours or something. And the intent, what, what, how he explains this here, that you are never going to succeed. You are never going to have a perfect uniform because that, that particular drill, the instructors, it doesn't matter how perfect you were, that you were going to be a sugar cookie and you need to go through that experience to give up being perfect, but keep moving forward. And then uh, you said when it comes to the pursuit of love, that you might have the best intentions and still not measure up. Talk to me about that. Yes. I mean, we may think what is wrong? Like, how could you not dig this? Or I'm doing everything right. And, <clears throat> and I'm checking off all the boxes and I'm doing what Travis says to do. And, you know, I'm still coming up empty and that's life. That is life. Um, you can't, life does not, you are not owed. You are not guaranteed. Even if you do get into a, a long-term marriage or a long-term relationship or a marriage, I mean, we know shit happens. Yeah. Yeah. And just realize that life is not fair, that it, no right. one's it perfect and Correct. that we all have flaws. Correct. So that, that's a good reminder. That's a really, really, I think. Oh, really yes. Good oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, then here, if you want to, if you want to change the world, don't be afraid of the circuses. And what he meant by that is they called it a circus after eight hours of, you know, horrible, I mean, terribly intense workouts that it, there were certain standards where you had to meet. And if you didn't meet them, then you were invited to the circus, which meant that you got two more hours of calisthenics <laughs> again to, to break your will. And then you said, you know, love is filled with circuses. It, it, it is that despite your good efforts, you'll make mistakes. Don't get discouraged. I, I cannot tell you how much I learned being single. Mm -hmm. And the, the whole point of his speech as it pertain, pertains to dating is that it's, there is so much personal growth involved in mm -hmm. dating. More personal growth advice than actual real dating advice, I find, mm -hmm. because the, the dating advice is more about, you know, what to say in a text, mm -hmm. the deeper stuff. It's the stuff that right. comes before that right. I find is the most compelling. And I think that's what he's saying in order to change the world, in order to change yourself out there in the dating world. Mm -hmm. These are the things you need to do to survive. Yeah. Here, this is an interesting one too. Sometimes you have to slide down the obstacle head first. And he was referring to, again, as a trainee who uh, threw an obstacle course that had a record for like, I don't know, 30 years or whatever, uh, that it was finally broken by one of the trainees that went down head first where everybody else did. It anyway, I don't know the details of it, but the point is that you do, you know, something different that you know that that takes guts that takes yeah. risk and you know you say yeah love takes guts yeah love takes guts it's it's uh you know Brene Brown man vulnerable is mm -hmm. that is scary but it is um so important to do to put yourself in those in situations that are going to toughen you mm -hmm. up yeah. and like yes, online we, dating yes I, <laughs> Well, again, and the point, the overall point being that take risk, be willing to take risks, which is, you know, like approaching somebody first with something we've talked about, but taking risks or in doing things, you know, that takes guts and take risk and you can have incredible results from that. So I, I, I really love that. Uh, this, this two, number seven here, don't back down from the sharks that there's always sharks in the world and you have to you have to compete with them and swim with the sharks. You say yeah. haters and scammers are part of life. Yeah, you know, it's unfortunate part of it, but come on, we're all going to be taken for a ride at some point where we will all have our hearts broken. We will all be, not all of us, but we might be lied to or cheated on or scammed. Mm -hmm. It's part of it. You know, this is mm -hmm. why we keep our eyes open. And even if we are um, hurt in some way, this is, you know, you got to get back up and keep going. 
Yeah, well, and, and you say here, too, that uh, mm -hmm. don't let anybody, uh, like, begrudge your happiness. You know, there's oh, so many yes. people that are jealous. There's, there is a lot that you have to, that, that you put up with in your search for love, even from your friends, from your family, <laughs> yourself. Oh, yes. You know? I, I, I just want to say one thing about um, haters, and they are female. <clears throat> and they can be jealous, and they can be catty and very competitive. And people can be, um, you know, secretly despise you because you're happy or because mm -hmm. you're married or because you got the girl or you got the guy. Um, yeah. And I hate to say it, but they're out there. Yeah. Well, oh, they are. And I've, I've encountered them. <laughs> That's why I think this is so pertinent again for us is, yes, this was meant for younger people. But in a way, we're starting over after 50 again in so many ways that, you know, we're changing the world, changing our life, finding love again. And, and your point, which I love you, the way you, you ended this, that never cower and never let your relationship status define you. I used to feel so left out and so ostracized when I was single because mm -hmm. all my friends were married. Mm -hmm. And it was like a club that I just could not break into. It took so much strength um, and wherewithal, I don't even know where I got it from, to be able mm -hmm. to walk into a room uh, with married people or couple people mm -hmm. and hold my own. And, and I got you know good at it. Was I secretly dying inside? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. people, you, you know, if you're a single woman in a room full of yeah. coupled up people, oh my God, you're like, um, you know, to your persona non grata, the women evil yeah. eye you and the men won't talk to you because the women, the wives will kill them. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so it's true. there's, it's yes. True. So, yeah. so, you know, major props to all of the single people watching, which is, I think a majority of your audience, you guys mm -hmm. are doing a great job. It yeah. is not easy to be single, particularly in these dating times. Yeah. It is, and that goes um, for men too. I know. Uh, absolutely. Example, oh, oh, yeah. But no, no, absolutely no, no. Yeah. for men. Yeah. For for single people, period, in a coupled world or coupled uh, events and all that, it's very. It is. It's it's very. Yeah. It's it's challenging and can be hurtful. And anyway, don't cower to it. No. You, know. <laughs> uh, you must be your very best in the darkest moment. Uh, again, watch the the speech because he describes you know how he came up with all this. Uh, but at the darkest moment of the mission is the time when you must be calm, composed, and all your strength must be uh, brought up to bear. Yes. And again, you said there will be times when the search for love will feel impossible. Yeah, man, it'll bum you out. It will bring you to your knees sometimes. Mm -hmm. It will, you know, you'll get frustrated. You'll want to throw your phone out the window. You'll just want to say, you know, fuck it all. Um, and there I go with my <laughs> mouth. But there's, is there another better way of saying that? Um, <laughs> yeah, you, um, it is, um, you, it is incumbent upon you to um, have grace and class and elegance and high road. And that goes for everything from trashing your ex mm -hmm. to, to your own negative thinking to the, to your own trashing yourself. It's, it is a test of strength to, you know, to be, to keep going out there and putting forth your best. Yeah. And, and that, and that, you know, pertains to so many part, uh, things in life, not just the whole love and dating thing, which is why, oh, this yes. is so, why this is so, why this is so correct. Important. But but this this point, especially because so many of us get stuck in dark moments and never come out. The finally here, if you want to change the world, don't ever, ever, ever ring the bell. And again, what that meant, there's, a, I guess, a bell that hangs on the compound or whatever. And yeah, the, yeah. you can quit, ring the bell and you're done. You're out. Yes, Nobody's yeah. going to harass you. You're, yeah. you're just done. And to your point, you know, love will challenge you, test you teach you oh you know interesting time since i wrote wrote that article it's mm -hmm. been a few years and i'm and i'm a little older mm -hmm. and shit's happened <laughs> and I, there have been i've had some loss mm -hmm. i've had some there's been some health issues there's been some personal crises i'm all for pushing yourself and I'm all for not for not ringing that bell, hanging in there as long as possible. But I'm mm -hmm. also now sort of feeling either a little older 
mm-hmm. and a little bit more gentle and softer and more accepting. Mm-hmm. And I think self-acceptance, and I make the point in the book, is as important as self-improvement because mm-hmm. self-acceptance is self-improvement. Mm. And that is that. something, you know, self-improvement people, coaches, people like me in this mm-hmm. in the motivation business, you know, we don't, we, we always, we sell, uh, we, we sell hard on the uh, whole don't quit and keep going mm-hmm. and get out there. And yes, and yes, and yes. And I do. And I believe the dating is, is equal parts action and acceptance. So yes, you make the effort mm-hmm. and you put yourself out there and then you detach from the outcome. Okay. And you surrender because you can't, if you white back to the white knuckling, back to the control thing, um, it will make you insane and it will kind of, it will sort of, you know, kill Mm -hmm. your spirits and you will, it's setting you up for disappointment. So, Mm -hmm. so if you can somehow combine those, those two dynamics, Mm -hmm. action, acceptance. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is the magic. Well, we're starting to come to the end. I just, I absolutely, well, first of all, I love the speech and, and I was familiar with it before I found your article, but I love the way that you uh, applied it to how we should think about our own personal growth. And of course, uh, you know, the search, the search for love. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, I'll link to your article, I'll link to the the speech. And I love your closing uh, too on this is that, um, you know, don't, don't give up on love sans the explanation that you just gave but even more important don't ever ever give up on yourself and i i i love no, that no great great talk i look forward to the comments on this uh you know as always please leave those we'll get back to you it's, there's some great conversations that start just in the comments alone and Treva, as usual, I'll link to all of your information. Please get in touch with Treva if anything here resonates and you'd like to maybe have a little coaching with her. She's absolutely wonderful to work with. Thanks again. And I look forward to you our next conversation on Second Act TV. You got Bye-bye. it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.